Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another video. Here we go, and we are reacting to. Hold on, Sarah, Sekiro. Sekiro. Wait, video? it's Sekiro Shadows oh, no. Die Twice review. Now, this is a game I'm really interested in because I'm a Dark Souls fan. And there's a lot of you out there that don't like really, 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 really hard games. But I am very passionate about very challenging games. I don't give a fuck how hard it is. I won't get frustrated. I will keep trying and trying again until I get it right. And that's what I liked about the Dark Souls series. It challenged gamers. And in a day and age where most games kind of hold your hand, mechanically, I really, in, I really enjoy Dark Souls. And Sekiro, I have not played it yet, but I'm going to check out the review because I really do want to play it. And soon I will try to get the game. Um, but here we go. Hold on. What, what's going on with the quality right now? It's, it's looking trash right now. What's going on? Don't do me dirty, YouTube. With your trash quality. Within, Within the first, first minutes of Second Road Shadow, Shadow Dice Twice, twice. There's, there's no, no mention of the fact that Trump Software has built a Shinobi-focused adventure from the DNA. DNA. What is going on, YouTube? Do your, do your job. No, I think, I think you're fine, sis. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't see it in the window. Yeah, that's what was happening to me earlier. Sometimes it just doesn't show up. Yeah. Second Road Shadow Dice Twice. There's, There's no, no mention of the fact that Trump Software has built a Shinobi-focused adventure from the DNA of the Souls and the Bloodborne series. But this, this new mutated strain is as much its own self-action experience. One that's, that's more focused, focused cohesive, and in some, some ways forgiving, despite retaining its predecessor's trademark difficulty. As, as I roll credits after 50 hours of pressurized blood geyser execution... Oh wait, so it's, it's more forgiving, so that means it's not as hard, but it's still a hard game. Okay. Fantastical oh, no, man. Spider-Man is hard on a, on a hard level. I'm left with a deep, deep appreciation for this amazing journey, journey, journey and the skills it demands to master it. To any Souls, Souls veteran, veteran Sekiro's timey-made lock-on combat of strikes and slashes is familiar, as is the way, way you weave through the same excellent design, design levels that snake. snake interconnect and double back on themselves to reveal new shortcuts between little bastions of safety to resupply. But Sekiro is immediately its own beast, thanks to a Swiss Army knife of a prosthetic arm strapped to the titular shinobi. Part grappling hook, part gadget kit, part weapon, and all useful. This new mobility reinforces the stealth elements of Sekiro, allowing you to get into advantageous positions for silent assassinations, quickly escape danger, and explore varied mythical environments in this vast and vertically designed world. Whether springing between castle rooftops, zipping through forest branches, or scaling sheer cliffs, there's a refreshing sense of freedom in just getting around. I want to play! And that freedom extends beyond death. I need to the play ability to resurrect yourself once for a while. I need to play it too. Allows you another shot at just not just you. But you risk spreading a divine sickness amongst the NPCs of the world if you end up dying again. It's a deep strategy to know when to resurrect and when to let it go and lose half your earnings. But the opportunity to get up and just run away is a literal life. I feel like if you get good at this game, you can be good at anything. And the lack of from software signature multiplayer means it's a hard game. Which is its own sort of freedom. When you're not sculpting around to score easy and stylishly gory execution animations, the emphasis is on skill-based swordsmanship that requires the mastery of an excellent new rock-paper-scissors countering system. Peppered into the standard fare of attacks are specific thrusts, sweeps, and grapples that are difficult, if not impossible, to simply block or dodge. But these come with the fairness of telegraphed animation, giving you half a breath to recognize what's coming and react. Thrusts must be deflected or redirected, Swings must be jumped, and grapples must be sidestepped for a regularly thrilling exchange of precision timing and tactics. There is a steep learning curve to mastering this, but once I overwrote my reaction, so you actually gotta learn how to use the sword. Beauty and being able to stand toe to toe with any enemy, 
And in time, Sekiro's combat actually becomes more forgiving than its first. Even, Even towering monsters, monsters or impossibly lethal assassins will tip you off to their big attack. And, and on top of just beating your enemies into submission with raw damage, Sekiro introduces variety with the idea of posture, composure during a fight. Dealing damage or blocking and deflecting attacks all degrade an opponent's posture, culminating in an instant death blow opportunity when it's broken. Which, Which route you take to get the kill matters less when facing the rank and file threat, but Sekiro constantly throws a variety of unique and challenging enemies at you that can hey. interact with the pressure and complexity. It's because the tricky dance of flexibility. And while there are less than a dozen bosses with a capital B, the world is positively lousy with mini bosses that serve as skill checks to keep you on your toes. <laughs> Relative to its predecessors, Sekiro's character progression is admirably streamlined. There are no attributes or numbers to build up. Your health and attack power only increase when finding key items dropped by bosses in the world. There are no weapons to find or armor to acquire. You'll use the same katana from start to finish. Instead, you spend earned experience in a robust, multi-tiered skill tree that allows you to unlock passive skills like a more potent stealth, or the, or the ability to regain precious health when performing a death blow, alongside combat maneuvers like a powerful posture-breaking strike or a lightning-fast slashing technique. There are a staggering number of abilities to unlock, and incredibly, each one I used felt unique and useful, if only in specific situations. Wow, that was actually kind of cool! ...with a number of different gadgets. Some seem more universal than others, like the always handy shuriken for long-range damage, or the, or the Mist Raven's Raven that lets you phase through enemy attacks, attacks for some life saving distance. Nice. Others, Others, like the, like the umbrella, umbrella that lets you block oh, incoming cool. projectiles, or the axe that lets you smash shield splinters, splinters are vital, but, but only for their own. narrow purpose. These, These tools also, also come with their own excellent upgrade tree, with, with effects that can be combined with skills for some truly ingenious combinations and strategies. Kind of cool, All, All these efforts support the goal of your undying one-armed shinobi to serve, serve protect, protect, and endlessly murder at the behest of your master, the child, child divine heir blessed with immortality. While Sekiro starts, starts out, out, out like a work of historical fiction in a bloody but atmospheric period of Japanese history, in typical, typical from software fashion, it quickly takes a hard turn into the mystical and supernatural. Telling a serviceable story that's regularly overshadowed by the dense environmental storytelling at work. All its sights and sounds create a very world, reinforced by a soundtrack that's as calm as it is But Sekiro is a less ambiguous affair than Souls fans might be used to, as each charm of the journey is much more clearly outlined and clues are more freely given. <laughs> And though, and though you spend, spend a majority of your time working through mountain terrain or historic castle grounds, occult-infused hamlets and blizzard-choked fortresses and bottomless pits of the earth are very much a part of the experience, leaving plenty of room for secrets and mysteries to be uncovered and pieced together that should carry over nicely into a new game plus. Ooh. <gasps> There's no ice in there, so I don't want to drink it. Sekiro evolves from software's formula to a stylish stealth action adventure that naturally emphasizes precision and skill. I guess I'll drink the rest of it. It walks the line between deliberate and patient stealth and breakneck melee combat against threats both earthly and otherworldly. Its imaginative and flexible tools support a more focused experience that shakes down the soul game's overly cryptic edges without losing its air of mystery. Oh, it got a nine. It got a nine point five. IGN rarely gives people those ratings because IGN's ridiculous. Whoa, boy! A nine point five out of ten. Ideas that can stand on its own. Did they for what? That means that's a good ass game, man. Do you actually believe in IGN reviews? Why? 
Well, because, like, a lot of the games that they, like, say it's bad, like, I've heard that it was bad. And there was some, some games where they said it was I mean, good, I, I, I believe you on that. IGN has, like, when they say a game is bad, they actually have been true about that. But sometimes they get it wrong. Like, Ice, Alien Isolation, that game was good, and they gave it a bad score. And I played that game and loved it. So, I don't think you should always go by well, reviews. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's because maybe it's personal preference, and I guess, I don't know. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's the thing. A majority of games right. actually that's thought that that game was good, and they gave it a bad score. Which is cool. Maybe they didn't like it, but you liked it. Huh? Maybe they didn't like it, but you You're liked talking about it. IGN didn't like it. I'm yeah. talking about, like, the majority of gamers. Like, for Alien Isolation, they gave it, like, a 5 or a 4. But every gamer uh. that played it liked it. But IGN as a company gave it a bad review. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. One person that played it gave it a bad review. But millions of other people loved it. So that's the thing. I don't know how accurate IGN is. Sometimes. But hey, it's if it's a 9.5... Yeah, yeah true. true. Anyways. I mean, they are one of the most trusted, but yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Play Sek Sekiro when you get a chance, and peace.